Hey class, I will show you how to write the review uh, review paper for your final projects. So the format and also what type of uh, letters right, or words that you're gonna use for writing this uh, review paper. I will share my screen, okay? So this is the format that we will use first. So make sure you put the Time News Romans as a type of font, okay? So Times News Roman. And then for the title, eh, make sure you bold it and then use 16 font size. So 16 font size of Time News Romans, bold it. That's for the title. The title you can put in the center or you can put on the left mar uh, margin like this. Okay? And then okay, give space and then type your name. Your name has to be 12 font size, bold it and also italize. Okay, so bold it and italize and put small letter A at the end on the top like this. This is information about who you are or your institution. Okay. And then under that, okay, you put letter A, small a like this, and put the institutions, your institution. And because you are UPike student, then put University of Pikeville, 147 Sycamore Road. Okay. Uh, Kentucky for one five zero one, comma USA, and this uh, information has to be typed in nine font size, eh, italize, and then after that, abstract. So this abstract has to be indented eh, about five indention, eh, and then write with all capital letters. Uh, use 10 font size. And then under this, also indented about five indention. Uh, type your abstract uh, over here, the content of your abstract, and use nine font size. So nine font size. And then under that, still indented about five indention. Uh, type your keywords, uh, the keyword of your papers. Uh, so maybe five, three, four, I don't know how many keywords, but it's not more than 10, okay? So type your keyword over here. The keyword is nine font size, italize. And then go to the contents, okay? In the content, you have, for example, introduction and some other subcontents, okay? For this, you can use... Uh, number or you don't have to use number okay it's up to you but it has to be bolded okay with 10 okay 10 font size so this contents all the contents until the end it has to be in 10 uh, font size of times news roman again for this sub contents over here use uh, bolded okay and then uh, on the first paragraph, you indent it, your indention, so put indention about three space, okay, so three indention or spaces over here to start the first paragraph until the end. And then the second paragraph also indented about three spaces. And then continue. If you have three paragraphs, it has to be indented also the same like the first and the second paragraph. And in this contents, make sure if you take information from the articles or textbook, you have to put the name of the authors, okay? The last name of the authors and then the year of that article or journal or the textbook. Okay, so make sure you put that otherwise it is considered as plagiarism because you take information from someone else and then you do not put the 
uh, source uh, or the author of that uh, content or articles. And again, if you have the second contents, okay, you can put number or no, it's up to you, but it has to be bolted. Okay? And the first paragraph, again, indented about three spaces, okay, indention. And don't forget also to put the reference every time you take that information from a journal article or maybe textbook, okay? And then if you have picture or figures, so make sure you put that figures and then the put the number of the figures, okay? If you have more than one, two, three, you put figure one, for example, and the title of that fi uh, figures at the bottom of the figures. And don't forget to put the reference, the author of the article or uh, the author of the article that have these uh, figures or picture that you use, okay? So put that figure number, the title of the figure and also the source, uh, the last name of the author under the figure. If you have table, okay, it is a little bit different. For the table, then you have to put the table number on the top of the table, including the title of the number, uh, the table. And then again, don't forget to put the author okay, of the article where you, you get this uh, table from. Okay. And then continuously, okay. If you have another contents, again, don't forget to bolt it. The first paragraph indented about three spaces until at the end, make sure you have conclusions. Okay, so th this is the last contents of your paper, which is conclusion. For the conclusion, it's going to be follow the same as the subtitle for the contents, which is it has to be bolded, okay? bolded, okay? And then the first paragraph, if you have more than one paragraph, okay, the first paragraph, uh, put the indention about three spaces in it. Okay? At the end, then you have to put the references. The references has to be the same page. Just continue. It doesn't have to be on the different page. It's just continue under the conclusion. So put uh, the references over here or citations and don't forget to bold it also. Okay, And then you put the last name Okay. And then the initial of the first and middle name of the author. If the author more than one, then you have to put last name, initial, last name, initial, last name, initial, until the last one, last name, initial, and the year of that article. If it's only one, then last name, initial, and the year. And then after that, you put the title of the article the title of the article. If it is coming from a journal, then you have to write the name of the journal. The name of the journal, it has to be italized. Okay, And then the year, you have the year on the top. If you know the page, then put the pages, the volume, uh, edition, whatever that they have on that uh, source that you take. Okay, and this reference, you write it in the alphabetical order. So from A into Z, okay, and follow this format. I will put this format, okay, uh, on the announcement so you can download it and then you can use it to, as a template for writing your uh, paper, the review paper as your final project. Okay, so don't forget to follow this okay, to get the maximum point for your final projects. Okay, if you have questions, just contact me, email me. And then uh, again, uh, good luck and happy writing uh, the final paper.